while I've been on Tinder for four years and few months, I've dated. I'm using the word dated very, very loosely. Seventy-four mm. girls. I think I've gone all on approximately hundred and fifty. No, I think I've gone on around two hundred dates because I think I must have gone on at least one date every week. That if you're really looking for love on Tinder, that's like looking for a gold medalist, Olympic gold medalist in Pakistan. Mm. Dating is a lower version, relationship is a higher version, and then another higher version is living in and then getting married. If I meet somebody online, on average I go on two dates with them. If okay. I meet somebody inorganically, on average I go on thirty-seven dates with them. How many people can you actually date? How many people can you even sleep with? It's just there has to be some limit. I don't know. My dogs are excited. Okay then, so we are doing this Tinder one. Yeah, finally we're doing because we wanted to do Tinder. This is something no, I, I wanted to do. You Tinder. wanted to do Tinder because yeah. you don't know nothing about it. Yeah, and and I read your article which like blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it like, blew a lot of guys' mind, not probably the girls, but they found uh, it intriguing. Yeah, yeah, so so that's why I mean I don't know anything about Tinder, and you seem to be the guru. Why do you not know anything about Tinder? What, what happened? Mean, Can you tell the audience? I think they would might they might want to know. I think I get I got mad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got screwed. That means you, so you okay? I didn't get screwed, so I can go out and <clears throat> meet people. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I I did make I did download Tinder once. You did? Yeah, and then you know it asked me a lot of questions. So I thought that. This is too much commitment. It doesn't ask too many questions, but I mean, I understand what he's saying. Like, you can skip those questions, but it's it's better to answer those questions. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe I was not in that frame of mind that time. I just downloaded. So anyway, yeah. uh, enough about me because I don't know about Tinder. So uh, can you tell me? Like, I think this is your twenty fifth anniversary. Or something of dating. <laughs> Not Tinder, of course, but Not yeah. Tinder, dating. I mean, dating. let's start with the uh, ancient times when when there was no Tinder. Oh, there was no Tinder. There was um, um, yeah. I started dating when I was thirteen. So you're right that it's my twenty fifth anniversary. The twenty fifth year. This is my twenty fifth year running because I started dating when I was thirteen, and I'm thirty eight. So I was in grade. I think I just gone to boarding school. I was in grade eight. And then I started dating. That first date was very. So you can board. Uh, you can still date in a boarding school. It was co-ed, so you can go and oh, date. Okay. The first date was not actually in boarding school. I liked some girl, but I never went out on a date with her because she was too hot. She already had a boyfriend who was really, really good looking. Mm-hmm. He told me. In fact, he told me that you know, if you really think you can ask her out, you can ask her out. And I looked at him. This guy had blue green eyes. I was intimidated, and he was so cool about it. And he was my age, and he was like, "Yeah, I can go ask." Her and then if it works for you, then you go out with her. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like, how old was she? My age. We were in eighth grade. All three of her were in oh, eighth grade. Honestly, it was just, uh, it was just embarrassing. When I looked at that guy and looked at myself, I was like, yeah, that's never gonna happen. It's like that guy was like, I don't know, Rithik Roshan. I was like, I mean, maybe lower than Rudesh Chopra or something in its at its peak. Okay. <laughs> so it, was, it was never gonna work out. But he was pretty cool to tell me that. And then I went ho- uh, home on hol- in holidays, and then I met this girl who had come on holidays. Mm-hmm. To she was living, um, she had come to our house, which was near next to our house. And she saw me. I don't. She was probably already dating. I think she was just an early starter. She was probably even younger than me. She was probably twelve. I'm not sure. She could be fourteen. I'm not. I, I never got to know. Mm-hmm. At that time, we didn't have phones and other things like we had land phones. Mm-hmm. So we exchanged like small uh, chits with mm-hmm. some small letters, not chits. proper, not proper letters. Okay. And she gave me her phone number. She's like, you can call me at this. Not dipped in blood or anything, right? No, I. No. <laughs> I don't think I've ever ever that kind of person. And I, I'm not even sure if I ever became that person uh, or I've. Yeah, that I get. No, I've like. I can you can check it out. I mean, like I'm not saying like uh, this. This is not my thing. This is just a, like you know what? How this happened? Coconut. You yeah, had the same injury. Yeah, You're trying yeah, to like yeah. break open a coconut, and this has happened. Yeah. Nothing to do with love. Nothing to do with love. Just coconut. It's coconut. And look at him. Okay. So let's just say that you have a long history of um, dating before you finally discovered Tinder. So how did you discover Tinder? Well, if I was Karan Johar, I would say Tinder discovered me, oh. <laughs> not the other way. Okay. Uh, 
if we are not cheesy then i think i was already dating for 21 years i mean i'm not always dating i was only mm-hmm. dating for like 5 years in that 21 years i was already 34 years in 2015 mm-hmm. and uh, i had moved to i had just kind of started a new job i think or maybe i was just about to start a new job um and that's when i was sitting down i was reading brunch this newspaper this magazine which comes with the sun times on sunday yes yeah, and um that's where it says like you know the dating apps in india Mm. and that's where i found tinder there was multiple of them i found tinder and truly madly and i realized truly madly was truly badly so i kind of dropped off within like a few minutes truly and then uh, tinder i found in 2015 nothing was mid 2015 so it must be like 4 years and few months i've been using tinder on and off of course you can't use it longer than a week because you just kind of start to lose your mind a little bit so um, yeah but it's been very interesting journey uh, primarily If you ask me, like I dated seven girls over a period of twenty-one years, from age thirteen to thirty-four, and while I've been on Tinder for four years and few months, I've dated. I'm using the word dated very, very loosely. Seventy-four mm. girls. No, yeah, seventy-four girls over a period wow. of four years, and seven yeah. girls over a period of twenty-one years. So if you really see, it's eighteen point five girls per year, and that's one girl every three years. Why organically? Inorganically, it's eighteen point five. So if you really do the math, it's fifty-six times jump. That's too many. Yeah, it sounds too many, but you know, like um, it's just weird because it just depends on how much time you spend, what kind of profile you have, and how much you're willing to go out and meet people. So hold on, hold on. Before we go into statistics and all that, before you like really lay it down, what is Tinder? I mean, I have never used it, and I just like hear uh, people mention about it, but I've never really like understood what is what Tinder is. So can you just like? say in simple word i will say tinder is the new god but just to explain properly it's just something that it's it's a platform with pictures of both genders so you have to choose which gender you want to go with you want to meet so let's just say you straight right you mm-hmm. married you you have a wife right okay female so let's just say not right now obviously not a good idea and your wife will not like it she's probably going to hear this no i'm not putting her on tinder <laughs> saying that saying that i want to sue so if you're single You don't have girlfriend, you don't have wife. Then there's a platform you can you can download an app just like you download every other app like YouTube. So download it and then tell them something about yourself. Put your pictures in and then once you're on, it will show you pictures. Let's just say you want like I, I'm I'm heterosexual, so I want to go out with girls. So you say I want to like see girls' pictures. You'll see girls' pictures and you'll see they'll put like one to five to six pictures or maybe more. I don't know. And they'll write something about themselves. And you can still be gay, right? It's not just. boy seeking girls and girls seeking you can be whatever you want to be okay. it's whatever you write you can just say bisexual then you get both the pictures huh? yeah so yeah, you just something. depending whatever you want to do so once you see it it's pretty it's this is for the lowest common denominator tinder they doesn't do anything you just write five less five less five means you don't want to see this girl so they cannot be a match so for example yeah that i know so if you write five somebody let's just say you see a girl you like her picture you like her hair you like her cleavage you like her body whatever you like you say like i'm right swipe and if she writes if she sees your picture whenever she sees it she also writes swipe sir mm-hmm. then some match both you both of you can start talking okay mostly you'll have to send the first message talking because on, the, on the on the all right, online itself. online oh, okay. and then you can decide whatever you want to do you want to meet mm-hmm. you want to mate you just want to delete each other okay it's completely up to you so that's just as simple as that No. And that's the beginnings of it, and it's just a matchmaking site. It's like Shali dot com, but it's just a more uh-huh. rudimentary, more simpler. Form. Even the dogs are excited. I think maybe they they also want to be on Tinder. They're like, yeah, hey, yeah, where's that Tinder? Where's that Tinder? <laughs> I, I want to see more bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the same street. I'm seeing the same people. It's it's literally the same way with human beings also. Yeah, I want to see more people. Like you know, the interesting thing about this Tinder is that you will end up meeting people. you could have never ever imagined that you'll ever meet organically you cannot how can you actually like it's just not going to you're going to meet people who go to your same school who you probably met at a family function or a party or at college or maybe at workplace and uh, hardly anybody or you travel with maybe you'll end up talking you're talking about facebook i'm talking about in real life oh, yeah, how, I mean, how will you ever meet but this time it just opens your platforms who's ever logs in and tinder has a massive massive database of human beings There are hundreds of thousands of people out there. You can meet anybody. The opportunity is just, just endless. Yeah, that I got to know. Yeah, it's endless. Like, look at me. I, yeah. I'm not good looking. I am older. I don't talk properly. I'm not very nice, and uh, I'm not even tall. So, mm-hmm. but as long as you just work on few things, which we'll be talking about a bit later, like because we'll be talking about the tips, particularly for the boys. 
Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want matches. to uh, talk about. I want. I mean, I am out of the game, so hmm. I'm not asking for my. You never know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying. He's not saying anything. He's not saying anything. So, uh, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll want to know since you are such a pro professional. <laughs> Yeah, like so we, we want to know some tips uh, inside the tips so, which will come at the end so that you guys have to watch the video okay. and girls as well girls as well yeah it's, I mean it's, it's not that bad I, mean, I don't know which other videos out there who's telling about themselves I'm talking about personal stuff yeah. I'm not talking about something that I read somewhere this is how it's going to happen because I think a lot of videos I've watched people say like this is how it's going to work but I'm talking about my experience over the last four odd years and I just met a lot of people I think I've gone along approximately 150 no, I think I've gone on around 200 days because I think I must have gone on at least one date every week and for 400, four years and few months. So that's around 220 odd weeks. So I think roughly 200 dates would be reasonable. Okay, now you're just blowing my mind even further. So, okay. Okay, <laughs> let's just back up a bit again. Uh, so why do you go to Tinder? Are you looking for love? Are you looking for... Uh, something else you know what I think if you read my blog I think I, I said that you know in very direct terms that if you're really looking for love on Tinder that's like looking for a gold medalist Olympic gold medalist in Pakistan you're not going to find any because Pakistan has won zero gold medals individual gold medals you're not going to find love because I mean I don't want to get into that topic that's a very serious topic but yeah, yeah. Like, what you're trying to find is it's simple terms I think most of you are trying to get laid and that includes girls also it's just that mm-hmm. timeline is different when I'm saying timeline is different that, that the guys are like you know we are always ready Hmm. Technically, it's the same. Like a lot of people are still like you know I'm not ready, but most of the guys are just always ready. But the girls is like eventually girls say like what do the girls say? You know there was another. Do you know what this means? Demisexual. That's the word girls are using. What's that? Demisexual is like I will only have sex with somebody if I am really attracted towards them. Oh. Okay. Mentally. That seems philosophically and all that jazz. So okay. girls write that demisexual is like somebody you'll only have. Girls can afford girls that. Girls can afford it. No, I'm saying like girls write that demisexual. Okay. Then the other thing they like we are looking for something meaningful. But okay. eventually, are you just gonna look at these people after all these things? Eventually, you're gonna mate, right? You're gonna have sex regardless. So I'm saying guys would probably be ready to have sex on the very first date. Girls are saying if things work out, eventually you will have sex, right? Otherwise, if you're there, then they are wasting their time and they're wasting your time as well. Yeah, right, that's true. Everybody's there for the same thing. It's just the guys are like, I can have sex on the first day. But girls are like, we gotta wait till something better happens, till we connect mentally. Okay, so you're talking from experience, right? Absolutely. Right. And even if a girl tell you, girls will never tell you when they want to have sex because the world has not evolved enough. Because if the girl says I want to have sex, then they call you slut. Then if the guy says I want to have sex, they will they start. So even if they want to, they will never outright come out and say it. Hmm, okay. So, what if someone is looking for a like a more uh, more marriage kind of relationship? Is Tinder? You can, you can, but it's a bit delusional. It's a bit delusional because you are getting mad. You're just directly saying that. Again, even if you're looking for marriage, you can't just go and meet somebody and say like, "Okay, I met this guy and I'm going to marry this person." So you're saying maybe just say you're 27 year old. No, because you showed some uh, girls' uh, profile where they uh, well, uh, she has written that looking for. Yeah, the girls say that sometimes because let's just say it will always be somebody at least more than 25. Anything between 25 to 35 because that's what I look for. Okay. And uh, anything anybody above 25 can say that, but it's the generally the older one will be like, I'm trying to get married. But I think it's not a good idea. I would say it's not a good idea. Again, a long topic, but I'm just saying that you're looking for something marriage mm-hmm. there. And you are saying that in your real life, all these years still like, let's just say on average 30 years, you're 30 years old. You could not find anybody mm-hmm. that you could connect and get married because you obviously had relationships. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you did not have a relationship, I don't know. Like it's already like directly coming on Tinder at age 30 to get married. I think something is definitely wrong with you. If somebody is offended by that, I'm just saying, dude, get your mental health checkup or whatever because you never met any boy, you never kissed any boy. Now you want to get married on Tinder. I don't know. Tell your father about that. Maybe I don't, I'll, I'll or stick to the matrimony side. Matrimony side. Just, 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 it's too fast. It's like saying that I'm eating McDonald's so I can get healthy. Okay. That sounds fair enough. So, um, you went on a lot of dates and you said that you're using the term date very loosely. Yeah. So, what did dating meant when you were like 14, 15 years old and now, what does it mean now when you're like... See, oh, right. everything was I'm 38 right oh, okay. so it was very organic like you there's nothing like in the 90s or even 
until like few years ago there was nothing like this mm-hmm. but it was not very accessible mm-hmm. and um, i think dating when you you i even that girl who showed up i saw her and then you started uh, uh, you know handing over chits even in school in boarding school mm-hmm. i met somebody i was almost dating sort of dating i was complicated mm-hmm. but again somebody she was in my class we used to, we were friends and then we start to like just to understand dating mm-hmm. i mean in the real world if you just maybe kiss or something at least some level that you'll be but i think if you're attracted to another person you can feel the vibes that happens and on online when i say dating is like you know you go out you say like you decide like are you this is a date or you just meeting somebody because mm-hmm. if let's just say the girl shows up without even they just say like oh i'm just finishing off is i'm just going to show up there and she doesn't worry if the girl doesn't care at all about what she's wearing how she is and i don't think it's a date okay because that just completely goes against the nature it's just like they will try some when people are trying a little bit i'm just saying that mm. you know putting in some effort if you're not putting mm. any effort i don't think it's a date because you don't care mm. because when you going out on a date or very particularly for the first time mm-hmm. i think you care so mm. you probably for a girl you probably put on some makeup for a guy you probably at least see what you're wearing mm. and how you're looking and you know is you are you groomed or not if mm. you're not caring about that i'm not really sure this is a date because you don't give a shit because a date is the precursor for something bigger a relationship people right now think in india because with the english language is still a second language and people lose their uh, mm-hmm. like people don't know like people get confused so dating relationship is different mm-hmm. dating is a lower version relationship is a higher version and then another higher version is living in and then getting married okay, okay. so people get confused you so seem dating started about all this um, really sorted at 30 year yeah but yeah i don't yeah i'm i'm sorted i'm i if you say like if india india's logic that if you're married then you're sorted then i'm completely unsorted but the fact that i'm not married is because i'm sorted it's very complicated but i'm saying if i got married with somebody right now because i don't want to get married uh, with anybody it has to be like really something yeah else. you almost got married once yeah. right and you wrote a book about it as well yeah i just finished that book Plenty. we we don't want to promote the book right now but we'll we'll write about it you can see in the uh, comment section right write yeah. about that yeah, yeah. we'll be we'll be putting it the link it's on amazon 143 days yeah it will blow your mind we are totally not promoting the we're totally not promoting it totally not So so are you saying dating is not for hipsters? Hipsters who do you call it? Oh you don't Oh like me myself you call me a hipster. No 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 hipsters okay uh, okay let's uh, Yeah you got to explain to that because this terms like I'm not sure like you know what what is it, what what does it mean to So you? hipsters are basically who don't care about anything um like uh, hippies were I care about so I'm not a hippie no, I'm just I'm yeah. not calling you no, Okay 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 got it. Yeah why not dating is for like going dating is the lowest form like it's just a basic thing you go out and date people just i think dating is good because you're just trying to figure because there's no there's no expectations no no when you said right uh, when you're going uh, for a date for the first time at least um, like give give some effort give some thought at least some yeah. thought like where you're going to sit what you're going to eat if the other person even likes just to say oh i'm here just show up here mm. that's something it's not even about makeup it's just saying like mm-hmm. asking them what do you like where do you want to sit do you want to have a coffee do you want to have a drink do you want a food what kind of food do you like what kind of place do you like those kind of things just making bit of an effort you just saying oh i'm standing here you can come and meet me because that happened with me okay. i don't think they're making any effort yeah like is your there are a lot of people who just meet you because you're in proximity oh, okay yeah. yeah like like the uh, like my classmate who took the engineering college because it was right next to his house absolutely so people are deciding the life which is convenient yeah and eventually they'll decide what job is convenient to them unless it's in a first world country everybody loves it nobody what they say i love mm-hmm. india and then they're like oh canada calling oh, come <laughs> kamal kamal kam my best friend is there everybody leaves i came back yeah you came back but you know never know eventually we'll go i mean they yeah, that's a different topic okay yeah, let's not go there so yeah let's go back to the amazing statistics you were talking about 18.5 um, girls per per year, per year. before that 0.33 girls per year dating oh yeah before tinder yeah okay so did, so i mean we always talk about quality over quantity uh do you uh, what do you think about that 3.3 versus 8 uh, 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3
I have um, yeah. So eighteen point five girls have dated per year. That's so yeah. The, my question was uh, uh, the debate uh, about quantity versus quality. Yeah, it's so, completely different. Completely so different. so is it like? Do you feel? Um, how do you feel about that? Pre Tinder and Tinder uh, people you met uh, through Tinder. Well, let's just talk. Let's just put out the stats and let people decide. So for for instance. Let's just say uh, I was not dating that 21 years before mm-hmm. Tinder. I I think I was if I really I'm using approximate terms because I didn't make a journal of it. But I I was dating for let's say five years over the period of 21 years. So over those five years, I if I spent around approximately 2,700 hours with them, um, like just physically. I'm not talking about texting or phone. Like physically, I spent 2,700 hours over those five years with those seven girls, okay. spread across. And with the with the people, um, I think what the, I've written the stats. Can I can I just see it because I'm just completely forgetting it. Yeah, yeah, sure. The exact number. All right, this is not there. Yeah, three fifty five hours. So okay, just to go back, twenty that twenty seven is correct. Twenty seven hundred hours uh, when I was dating seven girls over over the period of five years mm-hmm. in the first twenty one years with the, organically, and then when I'm uh, I've spent approximately three hundred fifty five hours. You'll have to pull it down because I'll forget the data exactly. So two, three, fifty-five hours. In general, I'm saying that when I'm with girls, if I'm dating inorganically, I'm spending every single day around half an hour during the whole duration of the time I'm dating them. Mm-hmm. Let's just say I'm dating them over a period of seven days. Mm-hmm. Then I've spent three point five hours. That's what I'm trying to say because I think it's getting complicated when I'm saying. Yeah, but probably but when I'm dating, that. when I'm dating, let's just say seven days. Example. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying if we if we just say seven day period, I met somebody organically. If I dated them for seven days, then overall I have spent personal time one on one ten point five hours. Okay. 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 Ten point five. That's one point five hours at least every day. Every day. Okay. Mm-hmm. But when I met something inorganically, then I'm for seven days I've only spent three point five hours. That means I spent half an hour every day mm-hmm. inorganically. Okay. So it's three times less. So when I meet somebody organically, I think everybody will like you know relate to it in some or the other way. Mm-hmm. That when you meet somebody organically, you tend to spend probably more time. What happens is like. Then when I meet somebody inorganically, I either meet them very specifically at a restaurant and then one, when we're done, we're like drinks are done or maybe the coffee's done, we're like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. We don't sit idle, but when you meet somebody inorganically, like, you can be bored with them. And mm-hmm. unless you can be bo- sitting down and be bored with people, like before this podcast thing, we're just sitting and chilling, right? Mm-hmm. But if I just met you on Tinder, I'm like, okay, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. You know, so we baba very quickly. Like uh-huh. with your brother, sister, you just send a lot of idle time. So I'm just saying a relationship, I was spending much more time. Okay. And there's another interesting stat uh, in this that overall number of dates that I went or that I went on, I think it's 260, right? I just want to double check it. Yeah. Is it 260? 260. Yeah. So overall dates I went with the seven girls I dated uh, organically, I total dates were 260. Mm-hmm. So that comes to 37 dates per girl. Per girl. Um, and then I've gone on 148 dates approximately mm-hmm. with the 74 girls I dated inorganically so that's two dates per girl so that's a huge so just difference. simply if i'm saying if somebody is like because i'm speaking so fast if i meet somebody online on average i go on two dates with them if okay. i meet somebody inorganically on average i go on 37 dates with them so basically you're saying that there is there is you see the whole reverse thing yeah i'm like the the number has changed so like i was dating 56 yeah. times more it, again, but suddenly the same it's thing, reverse. quality the quality is just all over the place the quantity is massive so i mean what you're saying is there, there is hope outside Tinder as well. There is hope outside. It's just chances are much lower, and people are getting. We're going to talk about that later. But I think you want, you might want to ask me that. Why do you think that's happened in the first place? Yeah, I'm asking myself. So, why do you, why do you think that's like you're, you're not an online person, but mm. why do you think that's? Yeah, happened? I mean that's. I mean it's very clear, right? Very obvious now. Um, everything is. Um, I mean, I was just giving you that example about Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. Previously, people used to write comments on your photo or anything. Now they just use stickers. So it's like people, yeah, yeah, you said that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in like people are just getting disconnected from their real feelings, and it, they don't have anything to talk about. I met, I mean, I also met people not on dating site or anything, but it's 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 uh, difficult to strike a conversation uh, with people, which is like you know interesting to both of both the parties so i think that's that's i think what you're saying is logical i think one word if you want to put in one word i would say with my all of experience it's options like you're married right now see 
you can't even do the option because it gets complicated mm-hmm. but for me i'm single mm-hmm. so i have options i can click on anybody i can go and meet anybody there's no problem and particularly let's say you know that you know, you know the statistics at least you have to right swipe 100 girls i'm saying on average for a guy mm-hmm. my is slightly lower mine is probably like maybe 30 35 mm-hmm. because my profile is better i put some decent pictures and other things in place mm-hmm. right and um, so even i still have to swipe like around 30 girls just to get one match but on average they're saying it could be anything between 100 to 150 mm-hmm. they could be i know people who have not had a match in a month okay okay it's just that bad it's it's that bad so my okay. point is right now the girls because when you say that the patriarchy mm-hmm. but when you go online on average girls get one match every two swipes so wow. imagine if you're a girl if you right swipe 100 people you have 50 people dude how, you are saying that i went on like 160 you can as a girl you can go on like six dates that day so you can beat my record of four and a half in within a within like a 10 days or something I mean, yeah that's a different uh, ball game altogether for girls so right? options The okay, fact is, no matter who you are, when you have girls options, have more options now. <laughs> more is a huge understatement. Okay, <laughs> this is like it's gone ridiculous levels. Okay, not only options. If you have to meet somebody, if you say I want to meet you, that doesn't work. The girl has to say yes. Hmm. If you say we want to have drinks, you don't make a decision. The consent always comes from the girls. You want to go out, you want to have sex. Consent comes from the girl. Hmm. Uh, whether she'll give you a phone number. that's from her point of view you can give your phone number. if you ask your phone number as a guy when you when you already swiping 100 and to get one match <laughs> and then you like she says can i get your number you like no move you're too fat for me dude that's not going to work you just going to like you, you can use your hand for that so so what oh, okay okay yeah okay fine so i got that reference uh, so yeah i mean uh, so what you're saying is even if you're not getting match after right swipe right swiping right yes. right swiping 100 pe- 100 girls Uh, you still need to stick to it, right? Then we can get the tips directly because that's one of the tips. No, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, tips. Fine, I mean, tips. We can go uh, because okay, I mean, you have different questions. I thought you were going to ask the same question. Yeah, no, no, no. no I'm just. Oh, I you can stick to it. I mean, there are a lot of sites. You can you can log into like four or five sites. Bumble, yeah, so Tinder, Truly Madly, Isle. I think there's few more. I don't know. Like, so don't how know many you have used? I've only used uh, like I have I have utilized Isle, but I don't like it. Although I met a couple of really nice people there, um, every other site is just pretty much bad. Bumble, I now I don't, I still have Tinder, but I don't really use it. Mm-hmm. But I right now advocating Bumble is not Bumble better pay me some money because I'm advocating it. So it's just, but I'll tell you why Bumble is better. Mm-hmm. It's because unlike if you go on Tinder, because I think next uh, next edition will be like showing you live what comes on Tinder, mm-hmm. uh, the pictures and how the quality is. Tinder is just all over the place, but Bumble is just much better. Girls who are coming and just you. I think there's a lot of fake profiles there. A lot of uh, prostitution stuff is going on on Tinder. It's just all over the place. Some of the pictures, like so many people put just their profile pictures, pizza, mm. feet, shoes. I showed you earlier right? yeah, before yeah, yeah, we were yeah, talking. Or, or or a shadow. Or a shadow. <laughs> or somebody picking somebody up. Yeah, or a god. Yeah. Or a or kids picture. I mean, yeah. I don't know who, which kind of people right swipe on kids. Yeah. I don't want to get in there. Okay. This is just like it's it's a yeah, slippery yeah. slope. So you are saying that Bumble is more a uh, more moderated. Yeah, moderated, and because they ask a lot of questions, and also if you have a match, girl, it has to be the first message has to come from the girl. You cannot message the girl first. So if she messages you in the first place, even if you match, at least because she has decided to message you, and because everything is in girl's favor, that means she wants to talk to you. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to like message. In general, what happens? You like you swipe hundred, then you get a match, then you message them, they never message you back. Okay. Because they they're getting hundreds of swipes. It's not that they're being rude. It's not girls are like become some pathetic people who just like ha ah, taking some like you know fun or Mickey out of you and like not messaging. But like if you were a girl, you're getting like fifty uh, like if you swipe hundred people, you get fifty matches. And mm. probably most of people are harder than I am. Mm. They're obviously gonna go with them. And how many people can you actually date? How many people can you even sleep with? It's just there has you to be some limit. I don't know. I don't know. Like <laughs> not that many. Even as a guy, you can't that many. For a girl, you know. Um, there's a, I think girls say they get psychological impact if they just uh, have one night stand as they call ONS or friends with benefit or just hookups. Hookup is a very new word. You know, yeah. old generation US they say hookup like you know, hook you up with this person. Yeah, yeah and yeah, the yeah. parents still use that there, and then yeah, yeah. they're like, no, 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 dad, are you guys gonna hook up? You gonna hook up with her? It's like, no, 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 don't use that word. So yeah. So I mean, um, um, I've seen people complaining about that they're not getting enough matches, and which, like, hmm. means. not getting late so yeah as i was saying like i think i mentioned that generally uh, the overall ratio is like 100 maybe 
plus for a guy to get a match but mine is much slower like mine is around 30 so mine is probably 3 to 4 times lower and I can give tips why mine is lower even if I'm because I'm very ordinary looking if I was better looking if I was very young hmm. if I was rich and uh, if I have better personality maybe but I think what my advice if it can work for me it can definitely work for you so yeah let's I let's, definitely speak better but I can you can work around it let's let's get into the tips right because I, I'm also very uh, interested like how how you are getting so many up yeah, you f- you moved it because I don't want to forget something because I've written it specifically. This way. No, the next one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is okay. You just keep <laughs> moving that away. Okay. So okay. yeah, we've written it down, so I don't want to like you know because you forget things, and I because I jot it down what according to my experience over the last four and a half years. Very considerate of you. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to be very honest here. If somebody gets offended, well, you can always cry in your own time. Or, uh, or rant about it on you the can rant about it you know in the comment section you can just like you know boycott me I mean it's okay I mean you know you won't be the first person you won't be the first and the last yeah but I'm gonna be very honest particularly for the boys I think these first of all we'll talk about tips for the boys and I think some of it is very relevant for the girls as well you can use the same thing it will it will just enhance your experience a lot mm-hmm. I think first thing I was saying that what you need to write you need to come across if you ever like the better chances you, you cannot harm your chances if you write no matter who you are you can be honest, but these things don't be just. Dis- if you if you're not a feminist, try to be dishonest and say I'm feminist. Just write it. You just have to write the word, and please spell it right. Please spell it right. Don't write your sapiosexual. sexual. Please don't write sapiosexual. sexual. Okay, I don't. If you write sapiosexual, sexual, everybody writes sapiosexual, sexual, which means you're really smart. Oh, okay. Okay. The when you but the but the online thing. thing is happening. The moment you write sapiosexual, sexual, that means you're not sapiosexual. sexual. Okay. <laughs> okay. So write your feminist, write your animal lover, don't even stick to dog. Just cover every basis. Cover all the bases, right? And uh, somehow suddenly, right, you like your family, you're a family person, somebody who is like, you know, respect people, respect women. Just come across that. Okay. If you don't, you better respect people. But I'm just saying, if you write that, if it come across that you don't respect people, I think it's not going to not gonna, You're not going to meet people. At okay. least you're not going to meet real, really good people. Who really okay. care about somebody? Can we hire a writer for doing all this, or like a person who writes better, better like yourself? It would be a good idea. I've written for people. Oh, you have. I've written okay. for people. I've had people who uh, I had gun guy. To be very honest, he didn't get a match. And this is true for a year. For a year, this guy did not get a match. So when I was saying 100, 120, I think he swiped like thousand people and didn't get a match. See, this is why. I was, and he's a very decent looking guy. He just uh, looks like me only. I think. So this is this. See, this is why. Much I, younger. Yeah. This is why I never. Uh, got to Twitter because by the time I met you, I was already hooked up. <laughs> already hooked up, yeah. He was already married, that's what it means. Yeah. In case people are confusing that. Yeah, I was get, going to get married, not already married. Oh, yeah, you were already Because yeah. you came to my marriage. Yeah, I, I did. I, I came to your wedding thing. And, uh, did you get any Tinder dates there? To your wedding? I think I was. When did, when, when did you get married? Uh, 2014. Oh my god, this is gonna get you in trouble. No, I wasn't there. That's what I'm saying. 2014, right? Yeah. I said. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's no, what I was like. I don't know. Otherwise, I would have. Because now I've just come here. I'll just swipe somebody. I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, come mm-hmm. on, meet me. That kind of stuff. Okay, we were talking about that, right? So okay, mm-hmm. so that was the first um, advice. Yeah, that advice that you know portray yourself somebody who is who is more you know like a feminist, somebody who likes people, somebody who respects people. Yeah, I think, come I think that's that's very uh, reasonable advice for anything. Like even if you are on other social media yeah. stuff, and if you write a nice bio, like pe- I think people get even for uh, professional stuff because uh, this camera got switched off. Well, the camera switched off. This okay. Camera. Let's check it out. I think this camera is still running, right? Yeah, everything else is running. I think it's just like 30 minutes and it's done. It's probably a 30 minute thing. Sorry about that. But yeah, these kind of things happen. That's we have great. like multi cameras, so I think some of them probably just switch off after a while. This, this one is working. working. Alright, let's get back to them. This one is also working. Right, everything okay. else is in place. Yeah. So I think once that basic part is done, what I'm saying like sometimes people gesture like, fuck feminist. Mm. Don't write that. If you believe that, just just yeah. Then what? Don't I don't something. know what you are doing. At, uh, uh, doing at yeah. It's not a good idea. It's probably need to fix yourself as well. You know, yeah. not just write them. Just like that kind of stuff. Like it's just weird. And um, I was saying like when you when you curating your profile, it should mm-hmm. show that you have some kind of purpose in life. Mm-hmm. You have some kind of personality and sense of humor. Mm-hmm. I think every girl likes sense of humor. So you just portray yourself that you 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 have sense of humor, some personality. There's no girl who 
if you're a bit of an artist, just show that you're an artist. Like it should showcase. Just don't have pictures like looking like this, looking like this, looking like this. Yeah. And I don't know if you have physique. A lot of girls say like if you're putting pictures without without your shirt, uh, I don't like you. But there'll be enough girls if you already have six packs. They'll, they'll yeah, I mean, th- there'll always be different people, right? Yeah, Who exactly. Like but I know if you have six pack, I don't, I don't even think you have Basically, to take my just... advice, honestly speaking. I mean, if you're not getting laid or meeting people when you have six pack, bro, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I think uh, it's saying this, it's the same thing, right? Uh, let them know about your strengths. Yeah. And, the, and your profile should show that. Your profile, no matter what anybody says, your profile should show that you have wealth, that you have a very good job or a business, and that you come from a family which is well off and your future prospects are looking good and you're well groomed. So hold on. So if if the person is not wealthy, I mean, wealthy is a very relative term, but I mean, if he is not doing so well, so what? Then be aesthetic, then be artistic. You have to have something. Mm. Nobody's going to click right on your profile. Mm. Because you got nothing. Why more people are clicking right on more my profile is because I get give them something. Yeah, you don't every, know. All of my pictures, they are great pictures, but every picture offers yeah. something. Like I, I teach, okay, NGO thing, right? I teach in an NGO and I take care of it. So one of the pictures I'm teaching a lot of kids. Trust me, that as a girl, that gives this positivity. So yeah, because you're like, not wealthy. I'm not wealthy. I'm not wealthy. And uh, I write a nice bio so they can understand that I speak good English. I, at mm-hmm. least I can write and I've done a few things because I'm a writer. So I've written a book, so I've written, written about that. I've written about my preferences. There's a bit of a quirky sense of humor. Some people like that. Mm-hmm. So also I end up getting, some people might not like it, but I end up getting the people who I'll probably connect with much more. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you need, I'm just saying that just the way you spend time when you're studying, let's you start engineering and uh, just the way you uh, curating your curriculum video or resume as people call it, please don't call resume. Never ever call it resume. <laughs> it's resume. Never ever call resume, okay. Uh, when you keep uh, making your CV resume, that you spend time. Just think about like that. Mm. That if you're not gonna put any effort, and then it's the chances happen, just go down. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably put some like your pictures have to be right, and put as many pictures as possible, and they should showcase something different. All and please don't pout. Please don't be a girl. Please don't <laughs> do all those things. Just, just. Yeah, I mean, there. I mean, nowadays, cam- uh, phone cameras. We are shooting on phone cameras. We're shooting on phone. So cameras. phone cameras are so good. Uh, I think you can have your have your friend take some good pictures of hmm. yourself. Uh, so that should not be hard, right? Yeah, it, it should not be hard at all. And there are few things that you should not do. Other things apart from that is like, please don't, uh, please don't write that you support your right winger and your BJP support. I'm not. It's. You might think that there will be some people who will be supporting BJP, but I think that people who are on dating site, I'm not sure they're, they're really supporting BJP. It's very difficult for me. But just not, don't write Just anything. don't write anything. Don't, I, yeah, I think that's what you were saying offline. Just don't, don't write it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just a better idea that don't write it. Don't, when I say like, for example, it says, do you want to have a casual relationship? There's an option there. Casual, you want something casual, you want a relationship or you want to get married. Trust me, the safest, better sister say I want a relationship. If you write casual, I don't think a lot of girls will be swipe writing unless mm-hmm. you have this. I don't, you look like Rithik Roshan or something. I don't look like Brad Pitt or whatever. Who's ever new? Yeah, I don't think you'll be on Tinder. Yeah. People are still there. People, people want to fuck like three three people every day or something like that. I don't know. So that yeah. is also there. But people, every guy, like if you see you see the girls there, they're like, some of the girls are like super duper hot. You will like, why is this chick on, online? Hmm. And some of them, I'm just here for validation. A lot yeah. of people are there just to, girls are just there to get their Instagram followers. They just, they just write their Instagram oh, ID. Okay. They're like, come, oh, I, I'm so busy, come and I'll message you on Instagram. Yeah, you will really <laughs> message me on Instagram. I mean, you look like freaking Katrina Kaif or something. Okay, so let, let's not uh, yeah. move away from that. So what's your uh, next advice? I think uh, another advice would be just please lower your expectation. If you think you're going to get hot chicks and you look like me, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a rare phenomena. Uh, I've hardly met, I've met hot, hot chicks as well, but it's just going to be difficult because you have to understand that they, they, dude, it's they on, have on more Tinder, even, even if you're looking for fat chicks, even they have attitude. So when you go with somebody who's really good looking, good personality, they have zillions of options. So just, just lower expectations. If you get good, so you enhance yourself and good things will happen. But if you think I'm only going to meet this girl who has this tiny waist, forget about it. Just, just go home. Just, just sit down and just watch something online. Okay. And I think the final one, I think I've said a lot about it, but I think a lot of people who are not getting any matches, I think if you can spend that 1000 bucks plus, I think they can give you a discount, maybe 700 bucks, whatever. 
it's well spent. If you just take a one month membership, you don't have to like take some massive membership. But this kind of opens. For example, what I'm trying to tell you, if you've never used it, so let's just say on Tinder you swipe like I think 40, 50 girls, 50 mm-hmm. girls I think on right swipe in a day, then they say okay you can't swipe anymore. Okay. But when you take a membership, you can right swipe thousands in a day. We just increase your 20 times plus not only the same place, you can you're in Bangalore, you can swipe in Bombay, you can swipe in Delhi, okay. you can swipe everywhere. Let's just say I'm coming to Bangalore, I can start swiping like two weeks beforehand. And by the time I'm here, I've already like talked to a few people and because girls take time to meet you. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, I just matched yesterday, today I'll meet you in two weeks or something like that, which is ridiculous obviously, but yeah. girls are not ready because they're confused, they're scared and they just think like something is going to happen, particularly in Northern India, it's just weird. So okay. it, the girls just generally take time, they want, they have a lot of options, they like take it easy and they don't want to come across as like somebody who's too keen, too, too easy mm-hmm. or you know, too desperate because this is just social custom, nothing against women, it's just that's the way it is, that's the way it is and plus you have so many more options, you're just probably already talking to a few people, you're already busy and you just feel like, yeah, I have a lot of options, I'm going to lay back. If I was, if I have six options in a day, I'm going to, okay, I'll take yeah. my time. Yeah. So that's the way it is, it's the way it is. If yeah. you have more options, it's, anybody who has more options. I, I know a guy who was my very close friend, he was like a chick, he was very hot mm. and he used to do that. He's like, oh, I've got six people, which one should I go on date with? He was like, oh, okay. I'll meet you in two weeks. He used to say exactly the same. It's not just your gender, but if you have a lot of options, you don't want to meet the other person. So I think that's sort of about it. Mm. And uh, as I said, that every, and you have to understand that girls always want a relationship. They they are always going to say, I'm demisexual. And, um, but eventually everybody started to get laid. Is guys are, guys are okay to get laid without any feelings, but girls prefer having feelings. Mm. And plus that if they get, even if they, have a mentality, you know, it's just a difficult world. If you sleep with a bunch of people, uh, it gets difficult. The world goes around and right now, even when people are on Tinder, girls on Tinder, they're just still scared that other people are like, oh, you're in Tinder. You're, yeah. you're here to like get laid. So people yeah, are still it's concerned. Looked down upon. People are still concerned. Yeah. I mean, it's gotten better over the last two, three years, to be honest. When I was seeing now they have time. ads on TV, so it's... Yeah, it's, it's better, but... Oh, but when like, if I go to Hyderabad, you'll hardly get any matches. But there's not even any girls there. On okay. Tinder. It's it's just crappy. So that's the un- unofficial advice. Move out of Hyderabad. Yeah, move out of Hyderabad. Not specific to Hyderabad. Hyderabad is okay, but then I think apart from big cities, it's still pretty poor. Like yeah, if yeah. you you're not gonna get laid there. It's just gonna be it's it's just not gonna happen because those girls probably like they have to come back home by seven o'clock anyway, and they're like fucking. I'm not gonna meet some stranger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. So it's not gonna happen. But yeah, if you're in a big city like Bangalore, Bangalore's pretty pretty vibrant. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can say Bangalore's pretty vibrant. Delhi people are girls are scared because of the culture and everything. Mm. You know how people get picked up. Let's not get into that part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Tinder and everything is very safe. If so somebody's telling you like you don't go on Tinder, you'll probably get kidnapped. It's dude. Everything is like all your like you know uh, footprints are there. It's your chance of getting picked from the middle of the road is just zillion times higher than from there because if somebody picks you from a Cafe. I mean, how many times do you get kidnapped from a cafe? Yeah, just meet a, at a very uh, public Even place. if you go to somebody's house, you have to decide. But eventually, if something bad happens to you, they'll find out. Mm-hmm. They will always. Because you've just texted this person. Everything is digitally, like all the digital footprint is right there. Mm-hmm. So the chances of you getting in trouble, unless you're absolutely stupid, mm-hmm. then it's very low. It's very low. Otherwise, this site will not work at all. I mean, if you have any intellect, it will not. It, because everything is online. You're messaging this person. It's very easy to detect. Okay. So question, yes. can I go dress like this on a date? I would say it's okay. Some people will be okay with it because you're wearing a t-shirt which has pictures of some kind. Oh yeah, of by the way, this is my company's t-shirt. This is your totally, company. This yeah. is your com- his is company. We're not promoting the company. Yeah, totally not totally promoting, not promoting, not promoting but it. But if you want to buy those t-shirts, the uh, link will be in link the... Link will be there, just below. Yeah, yeah below somewhere. Yeah. But we're not promoting it. Yeah, we're not promoting it. Okay. So, and please Bumble, pay us some money. I was so good. And Tinder also. I've, been, I've said Tinder were like 1600 times already. Yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ. More than more dates than I've been on from Tinder. So, so that was for the boys uh, or men, not just boys. Let's just say boys. So, yeah. So any tips for the girls or absolutely, the females? Absolutely. And the girls think like, oh, we've got so many matches. I've had so many chats with women. The fact is that women have so many options. Still, they're on, they're on Tinder for like two years, three years, and they can't get into any relationship. If you really introspect, something is definitely going wrong. And I think most of the pictures I was showing you before, people don't, girls don't have any bio, they don't put any effort. And when you don't put any effort, you end up meeting jerks, you end up meeting people who are just out there to get laid. And then you, no matter what you say, I don't objectify me, but all your four pictures are just you dress, dress nicely, and you're going poo, pout, and you know, showing nice places. Well, that's the kind of people you're going to attract. 
you're putting yeah. it out there because I think sometimes the girls are a lot of time let's just say most of the girls are confusing personality with pictures with hmm. which have filters personality is completely different buddy if you have a personality you showcase your personality otherwise you're going to get people like that so don't keep complaining that tinder is bad the fact is you're going to reflect and introspect that what are you doing to fuck it up because it's the same kind of people it's the same people mm. the same people you're going to meet on charlie.com same people who went to your colleges same people it's not different in fact you have every option to choose the right person and then also you're not getting it like okay. in college you were like three boys who were decent yeah, yeah. but you're finding everybody and still can't find anybody and you you're thinking that it's everybody else's fault Yeah, I mean, come on. So you still have so many options, but again, it goes back to I think a lot of girls. Versus I quantity. think a lot of girls need to actually even develop personality because most of girls have absolutely no personality there. At least they're not showcasing it. Yeah, all I'm seeing is just pretty dresses, pretty pictures, on and pretty places, and saying weird shit. And babies. Oh, it's just it's just terrible. It's just terrible. So I I and you know if you're gonna if you're gonna see somebody, I've had so many matches. Fifty percent of matches have not read even my bio is so long. Fifty mm-hmm. percent of matches have n- not even read the first line. They ask me, "What do you do?" I said, yeah. "That's exactly what it says right <laughs> there. Like that's the first thing it says." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, well, you are the one who's saying objective. And first of all, you have no no bio. I try not to write swipe anywhere with no bio. But you know, at the end of the day, my chances just keep going lower and lower. If I feel something, I'll just write swipe it. But I generally look for bio. If I don't have a bio, I know I'm not going to be able to get along with this person because mm-hmm. I'm not out there just to just." just to bang somebody yeah. because i'm done with it you know i'm completely done with it but honestly speaking i've met so many people this is it's just difficult but now i just do it as experiment i'm still open to meet people but tell me about like four and a half years i've not even come close to a relationship with anybody mm-hmm. i've definitely met a couple of few really good people and mm-hmm. i'm not saying that they're not there but most of the people i think one of the main reason is that that lack of personality and i think the one of the biggest one is this the girls would not put any effort because they have so many options and when you put no effort that's exactly what you get back you know that's the law of gravity you know yeah. whatever you throw that's exactly what you get like if you want to put yeah, no effort yeah i mean it's like it's like uh, i read that book called secret uh, not not a good book but i mean it says the same thing right you attract law of attraction right law i think it's a shit book but i think the fundamental is true yeah i mean it's just one line and they have converted into a book but yeah, okay, fundamental is correct laws yeah. of attraction if you're not going to put any effort do you think you're going to get good you just feel like oh So you have to think about like somebody just gonna like marry you because this is how you look. Mm-hmm. That's the whole. That's that's your whole USP. Within five years, you're gonna be fat. You're gonna have a baby. You're gonna be fat. Your guy is gonna get better because you're gonna have more money, more everything. Yeah. Because even from patriarchy point of view, so you're gonna have a personality. You're gonna have your job. You're gonna show them that you know I am more than this. Mm. You know, and then yeah, you're not doing anything. I think next podcast will be. I'll be showing you pictures. Right, live, live. I'm not like I've chosen some pictures. I'll show you that what you're doing to yourself. Okay. Okay. So um so what do you think what what is the future of dating uh like it has changed rapidly. Well, I think it's absolutely changed. If I can start dating online at age 34 um see I I feel people will still go to schools, people will still go to colleges, people will still go to workplace, people will still meet people at parties, functions, buses, trains, airplanes or just walking, uh, reading newspaper, bookstores if they're still alive in mm. like a few years. But I think the social anxiety. I mean, I tell you what's my social anxiety, right? I I I find it very difficult to talk to people. Mm. At you're much better than I am, but again, you still find it difficult at some level, right? Yeah. And these days, people are so type, 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 type. People oh, yeah. people are so like even if like you like some girl, in, like I I've had people like some girl in my office. They just rather text her on the messenger online or like mm. uh, the work messenger. Or they try to get a number instead of just. I mean, she's sitting right there. Just walk up and just talk to that person. Yeah, right. That. So it just it's I think the organically still will happen but it'll just get it'll be very low but I would I would still say somebody who met organically. Uh, yeah because um if you are working if you are studying or whatever you are out there in the world you will meet a lot of people. Right? Because you can see what that person is because online as I was saying like as I was saying you write your feminist but you definitely not feminist people will say things that what the other person wants to hear. Hmm. Right. That's what I'm saying. I I will say same I'm not going to say I'm not I'm, I don't give a shit but tomorrow you run turn out to be a person who just women hater or maybe you just don't give a shit and later on they just said I just write five you look at your picture that's what I wanted to do you just mm-hmm. put picture with like cleavage and all so I just wanted yeah, to, yeah. I just wanted to ban you that's all yeah I mean that, that's that's and I just feel like I'm not saying some I I can still have a I've still had very good dates I've still I I met people I met somebody who was animal rights activist mm-hmm. uh, we don't really talk right now but I think one of the best people i've ever met 
Mm. And uh, I learned a lot from her because I still eat non-vegetarian food, and uh, every time I eat, I I think I eat much less than before. Uh-huh. And but you know the amount of effort she used to put in, it was just incredible. Two of the most uh, the girl I was about to meet, like the people who were like very fundamental to my life, uh, the girl I was about to get married to, and I was twenty four. That was like long time ago. Uh-huh. She pretty much changed my life. After that, I became a writer and everything. So I think she was because I think a lot of it is probably might have come across because people just take it on face value that maybe I don't like women, but I'm just saying that the amount of effort she put in, even when we started dating, we just met from the very onset till the very end. It was just she just put in tons of effort. I don't want to get into it because I wrote an yeah, entire yeah. book on it. And then yeah, the which you dating, can uh, yeah, which, uh, which you can which we can you can they can check it out. Not yeah, normally, yeah. but again, uh, then the other girl I dated, she was an amazing person. We didn't get along like our personalities were at clash, but I did, we dated for three years. I think one of the most wonderful people. My mother probably is a little bit of an old school, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. Again, very strong mentally. I'm not saying that because these people. Okay, I'm not going to talk about my sister. My sister is like no, I. definitely care for her mm. but we are not close so i'm not going to i'm not just picking up every people but mm. there are the people that are very very strong women and i think strong women are out there but when when things are easy mm. when things are easy i don't think people are giving shit mm. so i think somebody you need to just give some shit put in some effort because you're not going to put in some effort the same things going to come back to you because it's called karma and karma is a bitch or whatever you want to call it a bastard but it is just going to come back because i put a lot of effort no matter who i meet Even right now, if I have to meet somebody, I'm going to go out with a lot of effort. I am never late on a date. I never cancel a date, mm-hmm. even if it's raining, it's sunny, something happens. I'm always going to show up on time, and I'm going to even if the date is not going well, I'm not going to walk out on that date. I have never done that, and I'm never going to do that. I always put the basics, always get in right, and I always try. Okay, but I'm very honest after the date. That's why I don't meet people often after that. But I'm just saying, let's just say I met some people, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. Mm-hmm. and i wouldn't have ever met them but i'm just saying in a longer run i think 95 to 97% people i really probably not i, I really don't think that i'm going to be friends with them not because they're bad but i think they just don't give a shit because there's so many options yeah. and i'm like at some level maybe you don't want to give a shit about me that's okay but you know somewhere you need to really decide mm-hmm. that you can't just sit there on your ass and think like i'm a girl i'm young i'm hot so you got to do things for me and when you do like certain level after certain time then i'll put in the effort because that's the attitude i see a lot of girls that you know I'm not gonna do anything right now. You do for me, and then eventually I'll do. Once I accept you as my boyfriend or something, then I'll do. I think you don't wait. You start from the very onset. You see, you see the vibes, and you and you go with it. If you don't like somebody, that's okay. Then get on with it. But don't don't show up late for the dates. Don't change your mind at the last minute. Please pay for your bills. Most of the girls I meet, they end up paying. But I I choose very mm. you know, very particularly. But if you can't afford your bill, then don't show up there. Or please tell the other person already that I don't have a job or whatever. That's fine. Mm. That's honesty. But don't. I mean, I had a date other time, and she was like going on. She had like three houses. She has this amazing job. Blah blah blah. And then the bill came. She didn't even pay her bill. And it was just. We just had a coffee. Just that's two, why she had two hundred, two hundred bit, two hundred bucks. Okay. She won't pay. She just won't pay. I'm saying that's why she had. And to be very honest, that most of the girls I go out with, they pay. And that's not a slur on the girls. But I'm saying that girl went on about how much money she has, and she didn't pay. And it was yeah. just after that you expect me to respect her, but I am mature enough. I just forgot about it. I was like, forget about it. I'm not going to take her name. I'm not going to say anything because that's just stupid. But I think it was okay. I think that's. Um, but yeah, just basics. Just do the basics, right? I mean, show some integrity. Be honest. If you have decided to meet somebody, show up on time. Be there and spend those at least two hours. After they want to say, you want to go, you can go. Don't be dishonest. Don't be dishonest with that because you're gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Because that's what you're spreading around the bad road. Because you meet somebody and you you're like late and you don't want to pay the bill. You want to say, oh, suddenly I have to go somewhere because the date is not going. Just just spend those two hours and after say, okay, good meeting you and just be nice. Be cordial. I mean, person like me who's just supremely harsh, and I can still always sit for those two hours, and I'll just always try to like be 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 nice. If they want to sit with me, I'm, I'll sit with them. I try. Last day it was not good, but I sat with her. I said like, let's just try it. Mm. If you want to go, you can go. She said like, it looked bad, so I said let me try it. It was fine at the end. I didn't meet her again because I was like, this is too difficult. But I didn't walk out on her. I don't want. I didn't want to walk out. So so I think uh, you uh, one thing you didn't say that have a lot of patience because. From hearing whatever you're saying, hmm. uh, you need some patience, right? Uh, you need some patience. You know, if you decide to meet somebody, and if you're on a dating app, if you don't want to meet, there are a lot of people who don't want to meet people like girls. They're like, I'm not here to meet people. It's like saying that I'm I'm at the airport, but I don't want to take any plane, and you're always at the airport. <laughs> Then either you're a terrorist or you have serious issues. 
Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Or you're Forrest Gump because you're definitely not Forrest, Forrest Gump. You're definitely not Forrest Gump, right? You're definitely not Forrest Gump. <laughs> so it's like I am. I go to the airport every day, unless you're like that dog from that movie, the Japanese film. I mean, like, why are you on Tinder if you don't want to meet him? Because you're wasting everybody's time. Hmm. Because somebody messages you, I'm here to chit chat with you. It's like, no guy is there to chit chat with you, okay? And that just completely defeats the purpose. So just, just get your fundamentals right. It's like I'm in the college, but I don't want to get a degree. It's like it's almost tantamount to that. Okay, so I think yeah, I, I we want to probably end on a lighter note because I just went very serious. But yeah, I didn't yeah, want to yeah. make it too serious, but it gets serious, you know. It gets it's like serious. Banking. You are a serious person. I am a serious person. Yeah, you can help. and you become old and. Well, ask me something. I just, <laughs> like, do you have an end question? I can see some end question, but I think you've kind of answered it. Yeah, I think you answered pretty much everything. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you have been on so many dates, and um, so. What do you consider as a okay? Uh, uh, just tell me about someone uh, you found on Tinder hmm. and really affected you in in any way, in a bad way, in a good way. Yeah, weirdly, like you know, the person I talked about, the animal rights activist, I, I found her on Truly Madly, which is a really bad time. Truly Madly, yeah. okay. Uh, but let's just say dating site. Let's not even say Tinder. Yeah. And uh, affected me personally. Hmm. That person definitely did. Uh, we became very good friends. Hmm. Uh, we're not in touch right now, but. That person was generally solid. I mean, I don't agree with tons of her things. Mm-hmm. She's too radical for me. Mm. But the amount of effort, like, you know, because I'm very idealistic and I tr- talk about a lot of things and I'm, but sometimes, you know, in action, I, because I don't like people, I don't end up doing a lot of things very, because I, I have those plans and a lot of those plans are still in the pipeline, okay? Mm. But she goes out and she protests, she will go to KFC, she will like make banners, she will spend a lot of time almost every other day set up a freaking organization and just to try to save animals and talk, tell people about why eating animals and all these things are bad. So that was mm-hmm. definitely good. One of the girls I, I met uh, online and that was also not on Tinder, that was on IL. Uh, okay, I'm seeing a I, Yeah, I met her, like, you know, I, I met her, she she's very mature. Mm-hmm. She even came to Bombay and she met me, even after, like, you know, I said, I, because I cut off for the book and I didn't talk to her for a long time. Yeah. But she was mature enough, she understood that I needed to cut off and to write the book. She came in there, she still had a dignity and she was just, I think she was the one, I, I really liked her much more because she showed a lot of maturity. Mm-hmm. I think a little bit of more maturity people need to show. I think that, I don't think the girls are not as mature or don't have the right personality, but I think it's as, as um, you know, as uh, J.K. Rowling says, it's it's not about the, it's not about the ability. It's about the choices. As Dumbledore tells Harry, right? It's not about the ability. It's about the choices. It's what you show. Mm-hmm. And naturally, when you have tons of options and things are easy, you just, you sit on your back and you think like things will keep happening. But because one day the curtain will fall on you. I think the curtain will follow you. But I've had this person and a few people who have been very caring. Mm-hmm. There's been, the met people and I think even the, most of the people I just met on one date but there's some people I always remember, their phone numbers I still have. And if I feel like meeting them, there are few people I would always meet. Mm-hmm. But those are, I think those people are not completely different than other people I don't want to meet. It's just those people actually, you know, showed up, they said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to put in some effort and they put they in also effort. Put, put the effort, they put in like effort, it. there's one person, you know, the, she gave me a book, notebook, she gave me like, you know, a wallet, other things, I'm just, she just trying to find out whatever I would want to do and just made an effort, never try to cancel something, it's just been, it's just been wonderful, uh, that way. I think, uh, yeah, I think we can end at this note. Um, well, and we want to tell people, right, that people might have some questions. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the comment section is always open. Yeah, I would say like if you have any, because obviously it was a long rant from me, a little bit of information from him because he had known nothing about Tinder. Yeah. Before I got married, I didn't get married. If you're also not married, see, if you're married, then please, please don't be on Tinder. Maybe find some other thing. And because I don't want you to be dishonest if you're, as a guy that you're married. I think because you're just messing with somebody else's head. Because once you do that and you meet girls, they get messed up. They get messed up. And... Uh, so if you have any questions or any kind of comments, you can put in the comment section and, and I think we'll be writing about a book and your company. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Spawn point. We'll be talking about a little bit there, but feel free to write anything. You can, if you have something bad to write, I don't care. Like that's fine. Whatever you feel, if you generally, you write it, think about it. If you feel this is what you want to put out there. If you have any question, you're a guy or a girl. If you feel you're offended, please write it, but don't be defensive. Be honest to yourself, okay? If you think that I generally felt something, I'll, I'll change because we have another edition coming up, right? And yeah. we'll be showing live picture of girls and the boys also. See, this is not an invasion of privacy because you put the pictures right there. We're just showing you, just going to show you like what kind of people you'll attract. And what, mm-hmm. and I'll show you good profiles also. This profile will attract uh, better people. I'll show you my profile as well. Okay, I just look exactly like this. I don't put any filters. 
I mean, you. I, I don't think like, filters will make me look better, right? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I was saying. I actually write like you know, I look uglier in person. <laughs> uh, no, I write like I would look uglier in person if it was possible. <laughs> if it was possible, it is not possible. I think I'm just smiling. That's probably a good note. Okay. Uh, probably so, I don't know in an hour or so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So see you on the next edition, whichever it is. Yeah. Let's have this slightly. Yeah. Effeminate bye bye <laughs> to everyone. Bye. Take care. Hola hola. <laughs> Respect. Okay.